Here's a mistake you can easily be making with use effect. Here's an example component that acts like a stopwatch. It's fairly basic. We have two pieces of state, one that tracks whether we're counting and one that tracks what the count is. We then have this use effect that is gonna say, hey, if we're not counting, don't do anything. But if you are counting, set an interval that's gonna run every second and add one to the count. With use effect, this only gets run when the dependencies change. So this will be run one time when we load our program. And if is counting changes, then it will be run again. I then have a simple component that shows the count and has a button that will toggle between starting the count and stopping the count. This seems like it should work. If I were to hit start, nice, it counts. Okay, but now I want it to stop. Okay, it didn't stop. Uh, what? Oh my gosh, now it's counting by two. Okay, stop. Oh no, it's not stopping. Oh my gosh, it's counting. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Let's refresh this page to stop it. What's happening here, this set interval is starting when is counting is set to true, but it never stops running. So how can we get this interval to turn off when is counting is false? Well, use effect has a really nice feature where you can return a function that will be run right before a component is unmounted or right before the use effect runs again. So all we have to do is name this interval and then we return a function that clears this interval. So now every time is counting changes before it reruns the use effect, it's going to run this cleanup function. So now if I hit start, we count. If I hit stop, it actually stops. Start, goes again, and I can mash this button all day, and our functionality remains the way we want.